So now, staying out back on the ear, I'm going to go to the M mode, and that's going to make some other changes. Maybe you can... Now we're in a manual mode. Okay. That's very different from being in the automatic mode. In an automatic mode, when I find a point on the ear, it's simply going to automatically go down to the conductivity of the point that I find. When I take the point locator off, it comes back up. Mm -hmm. In a manual mode, it's a little bit different. In a manual mode, when I find a point, it tells me that I found a point, but I manually take it down. You're doing that by pressing the negative, negative button. And while he's doing that, the... Now, I am to the one numerical value below the sound. Okay. Why do I want this? Because look what happened. It stayed at three. And maybe I want to compare a point against this point. What if a patient had shoulder and knee pain and you could only treat one? You have to find out which was worse. You ask the patient, I don't know. I feel mm -hmm. bad in the shoulder, I feel bad in the knee. Mm -hmm. But here you can actually judge the electrical conductivity of two points against one another. So if I go to another point, it shows as being active, but there's no sound. Which means that the first point actually was more important. Now, Where does it show you it's active? If it comes up either G, O, or S, oh, I see. that means it's found a point. Now there I have a, a stronger point. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What are you feeling? If you get one, that means your head's going to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> so this point is extremely active for me <laughs> and you very rarely get a point that low. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> but why do I do that? Mm -hmm. If a person has a pathology that they say, I have pain, it runs across my trapezius and down my arm. What I'm going to do is check a couple different places. I'm going to check in a manual mode, maybe the superior cervical ganglion here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to register how active it is. Then I'll check it against the occipital ridge here mm -hmm. and see if that's more active. Or possibly the shoulder itself and see which of the three is more active, which is more superior, which one do I need to pay more attention to. In that way, I'm rating my own treatment. Mm. That's the benefits of that. The fallback or the problem with that is that you must be very acclimated to the patient so that you can manually take the machine up and down using your finger. The tendency is once you put the machine on and you hit it, you're moving it slightly. So you must be in good position for treatment. Mm -hmm. That keeps you in a good position for your treatment. Okay? okay? So in other words, don't have your patient sit down and start jabbing the ear like this. That isn't going to work out well for you. What you're going to find is the point locator is going to find points, gold, silver, gold, silver, gold, silver. Because you're shaking and every time you're moving, you must be in good treatment position. That's going to definitely be um, shown in your treatment outcomes. Your treatment outcomes will be much better if you're acclimated to your patient well. Okay? Okay. Okay, so let me take it back up and go further into the manual mode. The first one I hit again put me in a manual setting. The second one puts me into a setting in which I can change some of the variables that you can change on this machine. The first thing that I see is that it's set right now 
at the very beginning at 200. You have it over here, it would be easy. Oh, okay, see. sorry about that. Cool. I have 200 volts. Um, the last thing I want to do is to stimulate somebody at 200 volts on the ear. It'll fry them. So, that's for stimulation at 200? Yeah, 200 volts. So that's way too to much. Two. So what you want to do is you want to take that variable down. And generally what I have it set at to stimulate on the ear is about 20. To stimulate on the body, about 40. Okay? Mm -hmm. So 20 volts on the ear, about 40 volts on the body. And judge it. If 20 volts is too much, Press the treatment button and go down. Every time you hit the switch, it goes down by twos. Mm -hmm. but for a child, maybe you want to stay at 16. But we'll say it's an adult and we'll stay at 20. Okay? The second thing that happens when I hit this, sorry about that, manual puts this into that one. The F stands for function. Yeah. Is it F? Uh -huh. Okay. Or, yeah, fun function of French. Okay. Okay. From here, again, I go into my editing mode, and I can edit the wave. Do I want to change it from an intermittent wave? No. I never want to change it from an intermittent wave. I want to keep it on the waveform, and I want to keep it on the wave that know, it is. How do you know what wave It, it just is? told me. Where? It, I can't Where? go back, but it said intermittent on there. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay. Now from here, what so, I am in is... Okay, we're hitting shadows and stuff, and I can't... Uh, okay. okay, so so if I press... Hang on one second. Let's start right back again. Going back to manual again. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. just trying to get the lighting. So yeah, because so this is a really critical okay. part. It's a pretty important part. The next thing I hit puts me into an editing mode, and from here I can edit... The, th the variables on the machine that I can edit, okay? The first thing I can do is edit the wave. As you see here, it says intermittent. Oh, I see. Do There's I a... want to edit that? No, I want to leave that waveform the way that it is. The second thing I can edit is what type of stimulus that I want to use. It is set right now for the French stimulus in which mm -hmm. you have for endoderm 5, mesoderm 10 hertz, and that's doubled to 20 hertz to 40 hertz. You can edit these a couple different ways. Number one is going over to the left side of the machine and going to the next grouping. The next grouping is noge. This is noge A. Moving to the right, I stay within the mm -hmm. noge mode. Mm -hmm. B, C, D, E, and F. I tend to want to keep it in noge mm -hmm. when I stimulate the ear. The next grouping. So hold on a sec. So, so say I'm wanting to stimulate with only C. I keep it on 40, right? C is 40 or 40? C is 9.1. 9.1, okay. Yeah, it's, okay. It's 2.5, 5, and 10 in the French. Okay. But for Nogé, basically, they have it set at 9.1, exact 9.1. Okay. I think it's 9.133. Oh, I see. It tells you up here if it's in C mode. Yeah. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay. So okay. Nogé C mode. Nogé C mode is for... And that's now for any time I treat it, it's going to be in that. And if I want to change the frequency, I have to go back to... No. Nah. No. If I want to change the frequency in the Noge in the Noge system, all I have to do is on my machine press the treat button T okay. and then simply go up and down okay. using my right hand. When so I'm will in, that give me that display if I press the T? Yeah, T? it'll give you the treat display. 